sincerely hope that this conference was part of the station. I hope you, we have set the scene yesterday for today's agenda on the call of action. The impact of inequalities have been a challenging issue that hinders the development of the communities around the world. With the pandemic, the pre-existing conditions of inequality have been compounded, leading to an even more unfavorable social and economic condition. What does somebody need if they're living in extreme poverty on the other side of the world? And so we come up with these types of ideas and then we hope to do the right thing. So the key question is, how do we most effectively reduce inequality within countries to build more decent and peaceful societies globally and also in the Asia Pacific? In the financial sector, in the business sector, but also the government sector. And I just want to quickly review some of the, the issues at hand. Uh, it's my privilege to be moderating uh, the first panel discussion for today. Uh, social protection pushes to get people emergency cash or emergency support. People are losing trust in government as a result of COVID-19 because they haven't received the support. The purpose of today's session is to present concrete solutions to the issues of inequality discussed today. Welcome to the breakout session on reimagining aging in a changing world. So what I would like to do is to list for you the strategic ways that we can all reimagine aging in a healthy way. The ratio is 0.5 geriatrician per 10,000 population. And in the UK, they're a little bit better off at 0.85. share with you all across the board how I've had uh, governmental policies, uh, community support from the school system and how we can also as entrepreneurial spirits. It is with great pleasure that I officially close the International Social Wellbeing Conference 2021 and hope to see you all again next year. Inshallah. Wabilahi Taufiq wal Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.